Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do selective color in Lightroom. Now, if you're not familiar with selective color, it's simply when part of the image is in black and white and part of the image is in color. Now, most often, most of the image will be black and white and you'll have a single object in color. In the case of this image, I have this leaf it's just laying over this drainage grate and I want the entire image black and white except the leaf. Now there's a number of different ways to do this in Lightroom. I'm going to teach you what I think is the fastest and easiest way to do it. What you need to do, process your image as you normally would. This is a fully processed image. Now I'm ready to do selective color. To do it, I'm going to get the radial filter. I'm going to reset all the sliders. You can see I have some settings here from a previous image by just simply click, double clicking on the word effect. When I do that, they're all back to zero. Then I'm going to go down to saturation. I'm going to move that to minus 100. Now, what you need to do is make sure that invert is not checked. Then draw a tiny little radial filter off the image. Make sure the radial filter doesn't touch the image at all. So I'll just draw a little radial filter. And you can see when I do that, the image turns black and white. That's because when invert is not checked, anything outside of the oval of the radial filter will have whatever the sliders are set to affect the image. In this case, saturation at minus 100. So we have now a black and white image. What we need to do is bring the color back into the leaf. To do that, with this radial filter active, all right, go to where it says mask at the far right, click on brush. Now do not click on the brush tool, click on the word brush. And when you do that, a full set of brush controls appears at the bottom. What you want to do now is click on the erase or the word erase right here. We're going to use the erase brush. We're going to erase this setting from the leaf. Now, for, as for the settings themselves, I'd say put feathering somewhere in the middle, around 50, uh, flow at 100. Um, size, get just a size brush that's going to work for you uh, to begin with. And to begin with, keep auto mask off. We'll use auto mask in a minute, but it's most effective if you start out with it off. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to brush back in our color on our leaf. Now I'll get a little bigger of a brush so we can get going here. So we're going to, and I'm going to avoid the edges, all right, because I don't want to spill over and accidentally uh, add color to the grating or to the sewer below the grate anything like that. So we're going to just avoid that great. Then what we'll do when we're ready to do those edges, we'll click on auto mask. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, what auto mask will do is wherever I initially click, uh, Lightroom will look under the minus sign of the brush and whatever the tone texture and color is uh, uh, where that minus sign is, it's going to try to match that or just apply the brush settings to similar tone texture and color so it effectively will just stay on the edges of this um of this leaf now what you need to do is just make sure that minus sign doesn't accidentally come off the in this case the leaf so keep it inside the edge of the leaf and then you should be okay now the top of the leaf didn't have barely any color on it at all so that could kind of fool me in this case, but that's it. Just like that. Now, if you do make a mistake and you went, ah, you know, you had like a, a mistake, you went off the edge here and we have color up here and we don't want it, just click on either the A brush or the B brush and then come in and you could then erase your mistake. Okay, like that. Then you could go back to the erase brush and fix it. And that is, that is the easiest and fastest way that I know of to do selective color in Lightroom. Now, it's a technique that was probably overused when photography first entered the digital realm and people were manipulating their images on a computer. So it fell out of favor relatively quickly because just about everybody was doing it and it became a little bit of a cliche thing. But when done... Um, you know, sparingly here and there, it could be a very effective way uh, to come up with a, a unique image. Um, you know, you could do a portrait, and if the portrait subject 
has like stunning eyes. You could maybe make it all black and white, but have the iris in color. Um, in this case here, you know, the entire image is black and white, but that leaf stands out because it's so colorful. So you could do something like that. Maybe you have a landscape, it has a red barn. Um, everything else, you know, you could have black and white and have that red barn come through. So try it out. Um, I think it's something, again, that if you use it here and there, it would um, probably enhance your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>